Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a very short game played by Mikhail Tal and Tigran Petrosyan. The game was played in 1974. Tal started with knight f3, g6 by Petrosyan, e4, bishop g7, d4, d6, knight c3, knight f6, black is going for pierce defense, bishop e2, we see castling by both sides, knight c6, d5, knight b8, rook e1, e5, d takes e6, bishop takes e6, bishop f4, h6, knight d4, bishop d7, queen d2, attacking the pawn on h6, king h7, e5, d takes e5, bishop takes e5, knight e4, knight takes e4, bishop takes e5, knight f3, bishop g7, rook a d1, Tal is pinning the bishop on d7. And now black has to be very careful. If a move like bishop takes b2, white has this knight c5 move and black is losing a piece. Let's go back. That's why after rook a d1 we see queen c8, bishop c4, bishop e8. And now comes a very beautiful move by Mikhail Tal. Can you find his next move? Ready? He played knight g5 check, sacrificing the knight. Petrosian accepted the sacrifice by capturing on g5, but king h8 is stronger, this could have prolonged the game. Though of course after knight e6, f takes e6, bishop takes e6, and after the exchange on d7, we can see that white has an extra pawn and also the 7th rank is weakened. This is just a hopeless position for black. Let's go back. After knight g5 check we see h takes g5. Knight takes g5 check, king g8 and queen f4. Mikhail Tal is simply going to bring the queen to h4 square and then checkmating on h7. Knight d7, Petrosian is going to bring this knight to f6 square from where it can protect the king. But in this position Mikhail Tal made another strong move. Can you find his next move? Ready? He just went for an exchange sacrifice, rook takes d7. Getting rid of that knight, bishop takes d7, bishop takes f7 check and Petrosian resigned. If rook takes f7 then queen takes f7 check, king h8, queen takes g6, threatening queen h7 check mate. If bishop f5 then knight f7 check, king g8, knight h6 check, this is a forced line, king h8, knight takes f5, now the threat is queen takes g7. If queen f8 then queen h5 check, now if king g8 then knight e7 is winning, or if bishop h6, rook e6 is very strong and white is winning. That's why, as I have already mentioned, after bishop takes f7 check, Petrosian resigned. What a beautiful attacking game by Mikhail Tal. Your comments and questions, please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.